Hey, Bell House, Coach Josh coming at you with this week's Wisdom Wednesday. This week we are talking about supplements again, uh, mainly focusing on two supplements we discussed in my last video this week. We're going to be talking about protein powder and creatine. So for the sake of this conversation, protein powder, we're not talking about bars, cookies, all that kind of stuff that you see on the shelves at your local grocery store or supplement shop. We're focusing on protein powder. Again, why do we take protein powder? We are looking to supplement our protein intake. Ideally, we want to hit it with whole foods, but in the event that we're not hitting our whole food or our levels through whole foods, that's when we want to supplement with that protein powder. How are we taking it? Well, pretty simple, right? It's protein powder, so we're going to usually probably take it in a shake. Now, what do you mix it with? That's going to be a personal preference, whether it be water, milk, almond milk, oat milk. Again, personal preference. Now, uh, one thing that may vary in protein powder is going to be if you're taking casein protein powder. So casein is going to be slightly different. Um, a scent, for example, the, is the one that I take. Um, if I'm using that, I'm going to mix it with five ounces of milk to make a pudding, kind of like a dessert right before bed. If you, especially if you get that sweet tooth, where as your normal protein powder, you're going to be mixing that with 16, 12, 20 ounces of water or whatever liquid you're mixing in. Um, when do you take the, uh, your protein powder? Now, this is going to probably be the most commonly asked question. Coach Josh, when am I taking it? Do I have to take it as soon as I finish the workout? No. Right. Ultimately, that's getting very in the weeds and not what we really need to focus on. Um, what I like to refer to that as is that that's focusing on the 10 percent instead of the 90 percent that's going to make the biggest difference. Right now, you know, every social media influence, everybody else. Yeah, you can take it right after your workout in your anabolic window so you can build the most muscle. Yes, that is the truth. But ultimately, if you're not hitting your protein levels, it's really irrelevant when you're taking it in. So let's just use it to supplement. And if you need to throughout the day, that's when you want to put it whenever it's easiest for you. For me, yes, I take it right after my workout just because that's when I know I will do it most often. Right. That's how I made my habit. I know that if I go the rest of the day and I get busy, I am less likely to get that in, meaning that I may miss my protein numbers at the end of the day. Right, creatine next, following up with that one. Why are we taking creatine? Athletic performance or cognitive benefits? How, that one's pretty simple. You're gonna mix it with liquids. It's gonna come in a powdered form. Um, most of it or all of it is unflavored. So mix it with whatever drink you would prefer. For me, I just toss it in my protein shake. Easy way to blend it right in. Not adding extra different flavors to your drink. And it takes care of it. The biggest thing is going to be you, that you want to take it consistently, meaning you want to use that scooper, which is usually about five grams, and make sure you're hitting that every day. Yes, even on your rest days. We want to hit that saturation level in our muscles for it. And in order to do so that, you've got to do it consecutively because you're using creatine every day during your workout um, or your muscles are using it, right? Um, now, with that, um, some people can experience some stomach issues if they take too much creatine at one time. So sticking with that five grams or maybe even cutting that in half when you're new to it or if you've never tried it before, you definitely don't want to be scooping three or four scoops into a drink if you've never tried creatine. It may result in some, some stomach issues just from your body not used to it being in there. So, and then again, we want to make sure that we're hitting that every day. Um, the time is not really the priority. It's just that we're getting it in every day for that supplement. Okay, Bell House, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you've got any questions about supplements, you can always reach out to me or any of the other coaches. Keep doing a jam up job, staying hydrated. It's super hot. It doesn't look like it's cooling off anytime soon. We'll see, we'll see you later.